Hello everyone and welcome to Grim Food Reviews. In this video we are going to be looking at peas pudding. So this is something I found in Budgeons. Um, as you can see there's absolutely nothing on the front to tell you what it is. Now I didn't really know that peas pudding was a real thing. I mean I know there's that nursery rhyme but um, I didn't actually expect it to really exist so maybe I'm just ignorant. Anyway, this is brought to us by Foresight. Maybe I should have had the foresight not to buy it, but there you go. And what we have is really, it's, it's interesting. I'm, I'm, I'm excited to see what this is gonna be on the inside. So we can quickly have a read of the uh, instructions here and the information. Um, so what are the ingredients? Rehydrated yellow split peas, water, salt, natural turmeric flavoring, paprika. So that's okay. It's, it's mainly one thing which, and it's a vegetable. Um, so it can't be that disgusting. I, I'd rather that than tin meat. Um, empty contents into a saucepan and heat gently. Do not boil. Very important, we don't boil this or we can microwave it as well. So classic ready meal stuff. Down here, we're told that it's, uh, it's ready cooked. It's a vegetable traditionally served hot with boiled meat. Also hot or cold with any meat or fish. Okay. So we could actually have this straight out of the tin, just raw. Um, oh, and they've guaranteed the quality. Uh, if you're not completely satisfied, please contact. Okay. So I, I, I have a strong feeling I might not be satisfied, but uh, we'll have to see. The next thing to do is open it up. Oh my word. Okay, it's quite watery. Oh boy. Wanna make sure you've got the best angle here. We're gonna open it up. Ooh. Okay, so it's molded to the top of the tin there which is lovely, classic ready meal uh, shrink wrap type thing. Mm. Wow, it's hollow, oh my word. There's a sort of a cave, a cavern of peas pudding. My word, I, I don't know if that's intentional, quite the, the phenomena, natural formation, cave formation. It does just smell like peas, like mushy peas, which I suppose that's, that's the point. Let's get a bit out there. Mm. Now the instructions said we could have this hot or cold. So there is some cold peas pudding fresh out of the tin. You can see the mold lines there of, of where it's been pressed against the tin. And this is, this is how it's recommended to be eaten. Um, just have it cold. So I think I'll keep this to one side. Of course, I do want to try it warm as well. So I think we'll put it in the hob and see what that's like. We'll, we'll do a comparison, which one is the best. Now, those of you that are familiar with the poem of peas pudding will know that you can have it cot, hot, you can have it cold. Indeed, the poem even says that some people like it in the pot nine days old which sort of gives you the right impression, I think. They said not to boil it. I don't really know how you can boil this given it's basically a solid. Maybe I'll add a bit of water. That's not looking good. So I'm gonna eat this now. I've got two types, peas pudding cold, peas pudding hot, and we're just gonna see. I. Don't know which one to start with really. Let's try the cold one. So here we go. Mm. It's just, it just tastes like peas really. I mean, I guess that's what it is, mashed up peas. It's not very nice at all. It's very salty. I don't know how you could really eat this, particularly given the the shape and consistency there. It's just molded. It's no. And here's the peas pudding hot. Give you a view. 
can see the steam coming off. So it's not boiled, but uh, cooked to perfection as per the instructions. It tastes pretty much the same, except it's uh, just warm, really. It's, it's odd how similar they taste, actually. I know it's the same thing, but normally you heat something up, if different flavours arise and so on, but no, that is the same thing, just warm, and it is equally bad. Thank you for watching this grim food review. If you enjoyed it, do consider subscribing to the channel and giving this video a like.